In this video, we'll demonstrate the IQ Auto Contacts configuration. First, we'll open up a satellite and make a program change. Say I want to change the runtime of this station. When that task is complete, you'll notice that the synchronize icon changes from green to amber, indicating that a change needs to be synchronized to the controller. I can initiate a sync simply by clicking on the synchronize icon and it will send that change down to the controller. There's also a synchronize button on the IQ home screen that allows me to select all satellites that are out of sync and synchronize them as a group. A third way to complete this task is called Auto Contacts. Auto Contacts allows us to set a time for the synchronization to happen, along with retrieving log data after irrigation is complete. Before we set the auto contacts time, it's helpful to know when the irrigation is happening. So let's click the update button on the program screen. The first start time is 11 p.m. And if you scan across, you'll see the program ends at 4.08 a.m. So make a note of that and click OK. Next, from the IQ home screen, click the auto contacts button we're presented with a list of direct and server satellites. We can see the satellite that I was just making a program change on was the Spun Cotton Park. The default is to never auto-synchronize. We're going to change that. Click the None link in the Synchronize column, and then we can set up an IQ Auto Contact. We also have the option to set up an IQ Auto Contact, only if out of sync, which will only trigger if there has been a program change and we are currently out of sync. Let's select IQ Auto Contact only if out of sync and set a time for that. If you recall, our start time was at 11 p.m. and we want to synchronize before the start time. I could select something like 10.45 p.m. and give myself a 15-minute window. Click OK and save that. I also have an option for this satellite under the Retrieve Logs column. Click on the None link and enter the time for IQ to automatically contact this satellite to retrieve logs. As we saw previously, the program was finishing at 4.08 a.m. So I'm going to enter 5 a.m. as our log retrieval time and click OK. If you're using weather sources to automatically adjust station runtimes and programs, you'll see that there's a list of weather sources that we've configured down below. We can optionally set up retrieval times for those weather sources. So before IQ synchronizes based on the time you've configured, it will automatically contact the weather source to get the most current weather information.